friends welcome to one little coder in this video we're going to learn how to run the latest llama model from facebook on your google collab notebook so i've actually spent a lot of time in trying to put together this tutorial but this tutorial is going to be fairly simple it's actually six step tutorial so we have to do six things and when we do six things at the end you would be able to run llama the four bit quantized model or it is also called GPTQ. So using GPTQ, people have reduced it to four bit, and we're going to use that model that's about like three giga, uh, three gigs in uh, storage size. If you see the seven billion parameter model, which is uh, thirteen GB, almost thirteen GB, that has been quantized to four uh, bit, and that is the three gig model, which means you can run it uh, on your uh, even free Google Collab version that you get. So I'm going to show you first to run this and show the output and then we can uh, go through step one by one to see how to run this. Let me first give a text here. So I'm going to say it was a sun. I, I said it was a sunny day. Maybe now I'll say something else. It was how to get rid of this. Yeah, it was a rainy day. Let me say it was a rainy day and then run this. Once I run this, it takes about like 20 seconds approximately. Um, it uh, tries to load the model and after it loads the model, it says done, the loading model is fine. Then it is going to send the text. Um, everything is happening within this Google Collab environment. Nothing is like uh, sending it to API or anything like that. It's all happening within your local environment. And that is, um, that's quite good. Like, uh, like you can run it on uh, your local computer as well. If you have got even the basic version of GPU, there are separate benchmarks that are available. Um, I'll show you the repository which we are using so that you can see uh, what kind of benchmarks that, that are available. But for now you can see, okay, it was a rainy day at the beginning of this week and we needed to go to a new place. So we headed to Westside and something, something you might think that that is a museum, it's just. So you can see that the text is coherent. It's, it, it may not be as great as um, the like the larger version that you have got like I, I already put together a tutorial on how to run this on your local machine even if you have got go even if you have got a macbook pro which does not have a dedicated nvidia gpu but even for people like a lot of people have been asking me i've got just one gig uh, ram how do i run this and most of my tutorials are always on google collab trying to you know actually make it for people who do not own com powerful computing machine machines so that's why this tutorial has been available so now that you know that this model actually works this model is completely fine i'm going to show you the six steps so let me read the six steps then we'll see one by one so the first step is to download the repository called gptq for llama and uh, that is by this user coop uh, coop 200 and then we have to enter into the folder like first we clone it then we enter into the folder then we install the requirements. We have to make a small change before the requirements installation. I'll show it in the demo. And then we have to download the pre-converted model. Somebody had already converted the model. If you want to convert it yourself, you can still do it, but I'm not going to show you that. Like again, this video is supposed to make it simple, easy for you to run Llama. So we are going to download the pre-trained, pre-converted model, the four bit model. And finally, we are going to set up the CUDA um, and uh, at the end, the sixth step is for us to do the inference, llama inference using llama underscore inference dot pi. Now that we know it is like literally six steps, I'm going to show you one by one. I'm not going to run everything because you know, it takes computation, it takes, uh, it takes time. I don't want to show you every single step, but I'm going to show you where in this code, what kind of changes you need to make if there is anything. The first thing is you need to go click your Google Collab environment and click runtime, click change runtime and make sure that you've got a GPU. This code at this point, like it can work on CPU. Uh, it's not like that, but the way I have designed this, it will work only in GPU. Or if you have to run it on CPU, you have to make certain changes. But for now, let's say that you are on Google Collab and uh, you are using the free GPU. So go to runtime, click change runtime, and then you see GPU accelerator, select the GPU accelerator. I will link this entire code in the YouTube description. So it's easier for you to uh, load it in Google Collab and then check it. Also, if you have to make any change, I'll tell you where you need to make change. So the next thing that you need to do is after you have cloned the repo. So let's say first you need you selected GPU, then you cloned the repo here. And after you have cloned the repo, you need to enter into the repo like right now on the root. Now you need to enter into the repo. So that's why we are doing percentage CD here and entering into the repo. After you enter into the repo, you need to install all the requirements before that. You need to make a small change. Go to the folder, click the folder, and then click the requirements.txt file. Once you click requirements.txt file, by default, this is how your transformers, 
library installation would look like why does it look like a little bit of context right now the productionized version of transformers do not have llama tokenizer or do not have capability to access llama models so somebody a kind uh, hearted person z fang has made a pr to the transformers library but that pr has gone through multiple changes like uh, through through like two to three days of period so if you use the default llama push branch that is available here you might face some errors so i have actually got another particular commit the particular commit that will get it right and i have linked the same commit in the description like just in the same line of code all you have to do is copy that and paste it here where it is it is here you just have to literally copy this entire thing and go to the requirements.txt here and then start with it should start with git plus and just paste that here comment this line and just paste that that's it this should install the right transformers library with the pr that zfang made with the right commit that will not show any error so this is a very critical step let me repeat it again the productionized version like pypy version of transformers do not have capability to handle llama so somebody has made a pr but the pr has gone through multiple changes so if you try to install the pr by the branch you might face an error because the pr is continuously changing so we are going to a particular commit that actually works with this particular code set and that commit is mentioned here which i have also mentioned here so this entire thing the commented one is something you need to copy without the hash copy that go to the folder let me show it again go to the folder open the requirements.txt and just add it here add it here and comment the one that was by default available which is the next one after you do that save the file control s if you are on windows command s if you are on mac wherever you are windows mac linux after you do that now you install pip install or requirements.txt this will install all the requirements this is the most critical step here everything else is like fairly simple i've tried to make it as automated as possible but this is this is critical otherwise you might get uh, tensor size mismatch error so if you get tensor size mismatch error or if you get any error related to state dict so you need to know that you need to install the right version of transformers model the next thing to do is after you have successfully installed all the required libraries now you need to download the converted like the quantized gptq gpt quantized llama 7b 4 bit model from hugging face model up and like i said like i've tried to automate it as soon as as simple as possible all we are going to do is go to this link get this model and you just have to click this shift enter or control enter it will run it now at this point we have installed all the required libraries we have uh, downloaded the model that we are going to use and next thing is we need to set up CUDA. There are certain things that you need to do. If you do not run this step, you will face an error called name quant underscore CUDA is not defined. So that's what you're going to do here in this step. So this again will work only if you're already inside the GPTQ folder, Llama, GPTQ for Llama folder. If it says, you know, setup underscore CUDA is not available, then it means like your folder pathing is somehow messed up. So make sure that you are on the right path, like follow the tutorial from the start after you do that now your CUDA setup is done the next thing is you have to do the llama inference so everything else is done now you have to do the llama inference when you are going to do llama inference CUDA visible underscore devices if it says CUDA kernel not found or CUDA devices not found it means most likely you have not turned on the GPU you are still trying to run it on CPU so you have to go back here click runtime change runtime select GPU and then run everything again so that is something that you need to keep in mind um, that the gp this requires gpu next thing is python llama underscore inference dot pi so you need to copy the tokenizer or configuration so that the, the configuration comes from this model um what is it quantized with like four bit and then load this model which is currently already inside your folder so if you go here you can actually see this model here which because we have downloaded inside the current folder and then dash dash text the prompt that you want to give and you can give one thing that a lot of people keep on forgetting that this model llama model is not an instruct fine-tuned model it means you cannot say write a poem for me it's not an instruct fine-tuned model rather it's a text generation model like imagine like the world where you had gpt2 gpt3 where you had to actually you know give the starting sentence like that's what it was called prompt and from that it used to build more text on it so this is that kind of model so you need to give the starting text like i can i can say like this write a poem and then I can say like this and I assume then it would actually write a poem. So now I can click shift enter or whatever that is 
and uh, once it writes like i can even say question write a poem answer then you know start with that then it's going to build the rest of the text and as you can see how much time it takes i think it takes about like 22 seconds i'm not going to edit this so you know exactly what time it took for my google collab and again just to remind you i'm using the free version of google collab and i i was like i was quite easily running this model on the free version of google collab i didn't require the pro version like i might put together a tutorial on google collab pro for the entire big model um, but for now we could do the same with free model okay write a poem it was a rainy day the day began uh, i stood up i sat down okay this is quite terrible let me it took 37 seconds let me run one more time but instead of uh, this i'm going to just say it was a snowy day let, let me start like this it it was it was a sunny day it was a snowy day okay let's see what it says run this it's going to again probably take about like 37 seconds um, that's what it took last time so you can see that it's less than less than a minute for i, I didn't count number of tokens uh, how many tokens or how many characters it has generated but it is pretty good like because you managed to use the four bit model it's good as an additional information someone managed to run this four bit model on raspberry pi imagine like you could run this model the quantized four bit quantized model on raspberry pi it's it's quite good and i also heard that if you are going to convert the model if you've got like a big gpu if you convert the largest model then um, the fp16 and the gptq models the, the performance difference is quite uh, the difference is quite small which means you can get really good performance even with the gptq model just like this since it was a sunny day it was a snowy day it was a cold day it was a cold day it was a cold day um, as you can see this model is not the best model but it can have its own use cases and that's exactly why i decided to make this video so to quickly summarize in this video we learned how to use this particular repository called gptq for llama and run this particular code using the four bit quantized model gptq model from hugging face model hub on a google collab gpu and we started with setting up the gpu and then we learned what are the steps that we have to do which is to download the repository go into the folder change the requirements.txt and install the requirements.txt download the pre-converted llama 4-bit model set up cuda and finally do the llama inference and here we are we have successfully managed to run the 4-bit llama model facebook's most anticipated i think at least at this point the latest text generation model on free version of google collab i hope this was helpful to you i will link this google collab notebook as a github notebook because the code keeps on changing so i'm going to put it inside my github keep it if you are not familiar how to do that all you have to do is go to file like you need to download the notebook that i've linked go to file click upload notebook once you click upload notebook you would get this place where you can drag and drop this particular notebook or select that notebook that i p y n b file that you would download from github and then you're set you can just select runtime change runtime select gpu and then you can run all um, up before don't run all just make the requirements what exist change and then you're good to go i hope this was helpful to you in learning how to run llama 4 bit on google collab notebook if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting